Peux-tu, c'est une question personnelle. Euh, qui tu, à moi? Oui. Peux-tu <rire> m'expliquer pourquoi, jusqu'il y a une heure, j'ai cru que tu étais Canadien-Français, Québécois, de souche française? Jusqu'à à 1h30, j'étais sûre de ça. Peux-tu <rire> m'expliquer pourquoi? She wants to know why after 1.30, she's on the impression that he was like French. He was French until 1.30, she's realizing, what? She's not, not as French Canadian. Yeah, French -Canadian. I mean, a few words. <laughs> Peux-tu m'expliquer? Oui, je peux. Explique-moi. J'ai même, même tellement, c'était fort. Je t'écoutais parler anglais, je me disais, mon Dieu, qu'un accent québécois. <laughs> <laughs> I was born. She, she, she thought I... Go ahead. Oh, she thought for sure you had a Quebec accent. Can you tell her? Answer her question. She needs to know. Yeah. Okay. The answer is is that um, uh, this is this is very personal to me, and it's it's actually again in a very emotional okay. area. Okay. But but I'll tell you uh, because it is important for me. Um, I moved away from English Canada into Quebec as a gesture of leaving the Anglo culture behind and turning my back on it. And what I found as being available was French. And I wanted to become the perfect Anglo, uh, assimilated Anglo in Quebecois culture. I went to Université de Québec à Montréal, et j'ai fait ma maîtrise là-bas. Um, and... Um, I need a drink. <laughs> you need a drink. Wait, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> um, and um, at one point I realized that what I had done was exactly what my father had done when he left his culture and moved into Anglo culture. But instead of the other, uh, instead of the deux de nations fondateurs, I took the underdog, which was French, That's and the one that I didn't grow up in. That's why I did that. Uh, I actually am amazed and just... That's why, why is it so amazing to you? His statement about, um, about uh, between the two, let's say, dominant uh, yeah. nation, whatever it's mean, because, you know, the idea of two, two uh, founder people yes. doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but what it did is just, because, as you say, you were talking about the sentiment of being ashamed, the uh -huh. rubric of fraud and peace hope, you know. Right, but that's, but that's his perspective. But what, what that is saying that, yeah. uh, I'm about to cry. Uh -huh. <laughs> but there, that's a great example of post-peasant identity, mm -hmm. you know, beyond just within one ethnicity. That's embodied in his yeah. experience. Yeah, I was very attracted yeah. to, um, especially um, in the, the, the time I, I went to Quebec, was the time of kind of the whole um, return culturally to the idea of a people's history, a people's language. Um, that, that, was, that was, I didn't think about it at the time. But it is what brought me to Quebec. 